Hey there, Robert Murray here, and in this video, I want to show you how to build a website for free in easily under one hour. Um, and I'm also going to show you how you can use this uh, free website building software. And if you hold on to the end, I'm going to give you access to $2,000 worth of my bonuses with templates, etc., that you can grab just for registering for a free account. So, cue the intro. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, down below in the description, it'll pop up on the screen now. There's a link where you can grab your free uh, Groove account, and this is the page here. These are all the apps that you can get access to, but I'm not going to go into it in detail in here, but you're just going to want to either click on this button or scroll down, and it will take you down here. Pop in your name, first name, last name, email, create a username, and then create a password so that you can log in. Most importantly, check that it says here funnels qualified so it shows that you've been referred by me so you can grab your $2,000 worth of free bonuses. So do that now before we get started. That's um, The link will be down in the description. And then you're going to be inside of the builder here. So this is my free account. You can see it says upgrade. I've got a paid account as well, but I use the free account for doing demos. And we're going to dive into start to build a website inside of the software. So on the free account, obviously there's limitations because it's completely free. You get access to build three sites. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, I'm not going to delete this actually. No, I'm just going to go in here and open this in the editor. You can see these are some of the demo sites I'm building out my free account. Most of them are for training videos on my YouTube channel. And instead of me deleting the entire thing, I'm just going to come in here and then start a new page. So I'm going to build out a little... Um, a barber's website uh, with a sort of scheduling, etc., and a thank you page. I'll just show you how quickly we can do that. Um, so I'm just going to go in here and open up a new page. And obviously, again, as I said, on the free account, you get access to all of these free templates. There's some premium ones which you will have to upgrade to. There is a lifetime account right now that's only $1,397. I jumped on that. It means you never pay ever again. And in fact, if I show you here, these are the differences. Here's the free account. So you can have three uh, websites, three custom domains, uh, share funnels one, uh, received share funnels five, import uh, pages 15. And then you also get access to Groove Sell, unlimited products, customers, etc. here. Groove Affiliates. I'll put a link to this in the description so you can see all the stuff you got on the free. Uh, also, you can get access to Groove Video on the free account and Groove Member. We can see you can have one membership and 100 members. And also Groove Mail. <laughs> you know, Groove have just gone above and beyond given this um, free access account. You can have 500 contacts. You can send out 5,000 emails. You can't obviously import your contacts. You can see the difference with the lifetime accounts here. And you can also create a Groove Cart store, an e-commerce store, Again, I'll be doing a video on that in the up and coming days, so keep your eyes out. Make sure you subscribe right now, click the bell so you don't forget, so you can see those upcoming videos. So yeah, so now you're inside your account, I'm just going to click on free here, and it's just going to filter down, so I'm not going through and, and seeing a, uh, a template I like and then realizing it's a premium. And I'm just going to use, uh, where is it, I'm going to use the barbershop uh, homepage, I'm going to click preview just so you can see that. And I'm going to show you how quickly and easily we can have this modified and running. So you can see really nice layout. If this brown wasn't your colouring for your uh, branding, you just go and change all the colours and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to click here and click select for the home page. And boom, it's inside our builder here. So obviously you just go in here and, and remove your logo and change your logo. Click on configure. There's lots of other videos inside of my Groove Pages tutorial uh, YouTube group where you can find out how to edit all of these pages in detail. But you know, you just literally come in here, click configure, and then add your logo. So let's just um, let's just grab one of my logos and just switch that out, and then click update. And then from the template, you've now switched out your logo. Uh, and let's just say, for example, that this brown wasn't your color let's say it was like this blue i can just click again on this little thing here you'll see it's coming up as text you can see that browny bl brown sort of dirty color it's not a very nice color actually um, and let's say i wanted to go for that similar blue 
I would, I'd probably grab the exact hex code and put it in here. But for now, that's fine. So you can see now, I've instantly changed that. Uh, in fact, I'm going to grab the hex code so that I'm going to, as we're doing this, go through and just change out all of the colors. So you can see here, Just I'm just going to click into each one, paste it in, and click the little tick box. And it's going to change all of these browns to blue. It's going to take me like what, two, three, four minutes. It's not going to take me longer to, at all. I just want to make sure that it's branded to whatever the color is of my logo, etc. Uh, even this one here, this is just an image. Um, actually, no, that if that is an image, I may have to switch that out. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And as you're going along, just click keep, keep, uh, keep saving. Uh, and, and as you can see here, everything is clickable. When you hover over certain things, you'll see that they highlight. So now you can see that I'm inside the block and I can modify this background image if I wanted to switch that out. And I just go in here and remove that image and change that out. But as it's a, a barber's website, that, that image is called. As I said, I'll switch out all of these colors. It's not gonna take me long. So I paste that in, same here. So as you can see with this um, free builder, it's in beta at the moment. That's why they're giving access to a free account. And that's a lifetime account, by the way. You don't, never have to upgrade if you don't want to. My recommendation would be to upgrade uh, because you know the lifetime deal is just unbelievable. So I'm just gonna quickly just go through here and just modify these browns just for now. And you can see how quickly and easily this is to, to get in here and edit it, all of this. Day. Oh, sorry, it's text, not background. And you can see over here, you've got all the different um, setups. You can go into, I can modify the text here, the font, etc., the bolding, the size. I can come in here and obviously do the background as we've just been doing. I can go in and, and modify the borders around it. I can use some animation so that when it it will fly into the screen, etc. I can use some delay so that it doesn't appear instantly, but it as they scroll on the page, it may appear layouts, uh, spacing, I can space above, below. Uh, so for example, if I want a bit more spacing or a margin, you can see how that's um, the margin for the button. If I'm gonna take that back to one, or I can have a bit of spacing above. So say I wanna drop that down. But I'm just gonna do the background as, as we said. And you know, five minutes we'd have all of this switched out just so it's got the right coloring and then you'd go in and start modifying the text to suit you you'd put a bit about you a bit about the team as you can see here i'm not even going to do those because you may only have two or three people in the team um and i'd probably change this background here as well in fact we'll do that right now just so that it matches our blue so i'm going to go into the the blocks you can click click down here to go into this block this whole background area i want to modify and I'm just going to go in here in fact I'm going to put that blue in as a background but then I'm what I'm going to do is uh, let me see I'm just going to make it a bit more transparent so it just lightens it a little bit let's say 70 percent okay so if I want to change backgrounds anywhere else so for example here I'll do the same thing I'll go into the block I'll paste in that code. And then all I'm gonna do is just go into 70%, I think I did. Boom, we've got the same background color. And save that again. And you can see very, very quickly, that website is now looking completely different with this different colors. And obviously I'll change these out. In fact, let's just do it. As I said, you can build under an hour and you know you easily can. Lots of Michael Dozer who work for this barbers. I'm just copying and pasting that in it everywhere. And you can see it's really responsive, really fast. The other thing with this free page builder is it's ranking really, really, really well. Your website's on uh, Google, literally off the bat because of the formatting and the way that it's built out. I won't go into detail with that, but just to let you know that you build a website in here, it's gonna rank very, very quickly inside of Google without any SEO skills, without anything like that. 
Okay, so we're nearly there. And you can see this template is a lovely template, nicely styled out. If you've got a barber shop or a hairdresser, you can modify this really, really quickly. Boom. And then all I'll do is add my logo there. So you can see every time I hover on something, it's, it's kind of highlighting it red. If I then click on it or I could drag it, you can see the little drag symbol here. Uh, or I can click into this actual container. So now I'm modifying this whole container. I can click the up arrow to say I want to go in that next box up. That's the layout. Or I can click that again, the up arrow. Now I'm, I'm modifying this entire container. Or I can click that and now I'm modifying the entire block. Really, really easy. Really super intuitive. Uh, it's going to take you no time at all to modify this. So, so boom, that, that's the, the website uh, modified. Obviously, we, we're going to go in here and add all of our proper details, etc. Uh, it's not going to take us long. Switch out some of these images for your own images. Add your staff members. Add your pricing, your services. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add another page. And I'm going to go into free again. I think it's down the bottom here. There's one for bookings. So people can book directly on your, your barbershop website. And you just link this up with a free software like Calendly. Okay, so that's now loaded. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing really, really quickly. I'm just going to quickly go in and modify the colors there. And I'll add my logo again just because we did that on the last page. Let's keep it congruent. That's there, I think. Yeah. Click update. And obviously you can link that to, to either a URL or another page, etc. You can see here, so I could add the URL to link that to, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to come out of there. And this background, again, we'll switch out. We did that blue at uh, 70%. Just keeps all of your pages nice and congruent. So let's go into the block here. So you can see it's highlighted red, the block. So I'm going to go into the background and just paste that in and then just do that 70% save that so this here this is um, Calendly so you can sign up for a free Calendly account and then you can set up your um, schedule inside of a, a Google Calendar so you know when people's uh, appointments are booked it automatically gets added in there and it sends out welcome emails etc so if you're you know letting people book through your online stuff and you can see that's done uh, if we preview that here uh, I don't know if it will show the Calendly setup it might do okay cool so you can see here that now gives people an option that they can say look I want to book an appointment on uh, the 10th and then they'll pick the available time slots and then they'll add their name and email, etc. Okay, so really, really simple. And then uh, I'm just going to click publish here. I just want to publish that to make sure that it's all saving. And then I'm going to just add a little thank you page at the end uh, so that after they book their calendar appointment uh, with the barbers, we're now going to add so that they land on a thank you page. I'm going to click free again down to the bottom here. And click confirmation. I'm oh, sorry, didn't mean to click preview. And we've probably only been, we're not even 15 minutes in yet. And obviously we haven't changed all of the, the text and the, you know, the actual, the bits inside of uh, all these pages, which again should not take you long, but we're under 20 minutes and we're near having a three page setup. So I'm just going to go in here, do the same again, change the logo, change the, so you can see how quickly all of this changes. update so appointment confirmed some things you need to do so again I'm just going to change this background block image uh, sorry the color and we're just going to paste that in oops sorry and then we're just going to do the same again take that to 70% and we'll do the same on this one here and this is a good chance now for the yet yeah, as it says you know get people onto your social media etc Boom. So we are very, very close to having prepared the experience. Uh, okay, cool. So we've now got set up um, our home page, which again, we can add whatever we want on here. Uh, we can add additional pages if we wanted to, if this was our home 
uh, our website. But for me, a one-page website nowadays is much simpler than a five, six, seven page. You know, there's everything that people need to know on here. If I, if I run my own barbers, I want them to know what are the prices, how do they book, who are we, and that's it. Okay, so you know, you could add these additional pages if you wanted to, but for me, it's probably unnecessary. Uh, all you're going to do is link up these buttons so that they go then to the next page. So you'll be able to see here URL, and then you'd add the URL for page number two. And then you'd set up Calendly in the second page. Really, really simple. So if I go over here, let's just rename this one. Uh, where have we gone? Let's rename it uh, Book Your Appointment. Or just call it Book. I'm going to change the URL. Click Save. So now that means that if I want to find that page, again, this is a demo, so I've got this this link is is not the link I'd be using. I'd I'd have a custom domain. I'd add that here, and I'd other videos will pop up on the screen right now to show you how to do adding a custom domain. But um, if I take that link here and then now add, um, so you can see it says share example. If I now add book at the end, if I've okay, because I'm probably published it. Get rid of that and start again. So that should now publish in it. It'll come up and show me that it'll take, can take five minutes, uh, a few minutes, sorry. So there's a good chance that that won't actually be live yet. But you can see here, uh, I'm just going to do the same again. Book. But as I say, you'll be using uh, your own custom domain. Boom. So you can see how quickly that's live. This URL is irrelevant. Just wanted to show you how it would look. The spacing slightly rough, but again, it's not terrible. Um, so again, what I would do is let me get rid of that. I would then go into each of the pages, and obviously this all wouldn't be here. So I'd have this one as my main. So it would be my home. If I show you how to do that, so edit settings. You can see set as home page, and now I can go in and click edit settings, and let's just call this home. So now that URL that I grabbed, if I delete some of these, let's just get rid of those. Because like I said, I've used these for other examples. I'm just gonna get rid of those ones that I don't need. So now you can see that's my home, that's my book, and that's my, let's call it confirmation. Confirmation. Save that. So now this link over here um, should go directly now to the main homepage, which is now. Hang on. Let me do a refresh. Okay, again, same thing. It could take a little while because I probably haven't published it and it may take five minutes. So let's carry on what we're doing. So now. We know what the link is for the um, the booking page, so I'm going to go in here, add that, and then book. So that's my booking link. So I'd add that to all of my book buttons. I want to carry over the parameters. I want to open a new tab. So I'll do the same here. Pick date, configure, and you can see how quick and easy this is. You know, this isn't a complicated. HTML, etc. But as I said to you earlier, these websites will rank really, really well in Google because they're built in the right format, uh, which is really important. I don't need to go into the technical side of it, but they will rank really quickly. So I'm just going to switch out all of those um, for the URL so that when we do a little preview and demo in a moment, hopefully those will work. And the only thing I won't do on this video, I won't set up Calendly, it's just um, a 20, 30 minute setup. But again, like I say, you can get a free Calendly account. So I've got my buttons all linked up. Um, there might be another button there. There's another two buttons, that's cool. URL. And then I think the last button is just there at the bottom. Okay. 
So it's all good. So I'm saving that and I'm going to publish it. And then when we preview it in a moment, then um, you can go in there and uh, modify anything else. I'm just going to publish there because then it'll take a few minutes. I'm going to actually just delete these because I'm not going to add an additional separate uh, contacts page. So you can see here, the little link there I can click on to delete. Same here. Okay, I'll obviously switch out my address, etc. All of this, I put my logo down here as well. The same one that we used earlier. And click update. And we are not far off um, getting all of that done. So let's just um, open up this link here. Again, as I said, it's, it's not going to update everything. It takes a few minutes. So I'm going to open that link in a new window. So you can see now at the top, it's got home. Uh, still not quite. You know what I'll do? I'll change this subdomain because obviously you can see here demo. Um, so let's call it barber. Obviously, you'd probably put your barber shop name. You don't need to put barber. Let's click set. It doesn't look like that actually works. So let me just um, try that again. So you can see here, changing will move all existing sites to the new subdomain. As I say, this is just a demo site in my free account. So I'm not really worried about that. Ah, so you can see now it's changed. So I'm going to click publish again, leave it a couple of minutes, let it um, do its thing. So we'll give that a moment, get rid of that preview. And let's go into our third page, our confirmation. So now here, it's a great opportunity for you to, to try and engage them more, you know, tell them what else is going on, what other events you've got, what other social media you've got, what other offers you've got. You know, this is, they're in that buying cycle right now. They've, they've just booked an appointment with you. They want to know a little bit more. So it's your opportunity. As it says here, you know, share your social media stuff. Make sure that they know how they can get in touch with you, etc. So let's try and see um, if I click on the drop down. Let's see if this has uh, updated. Boom. Okay. So simple, really, really easy. Um, I'm hoping that if I click on that now, it should take me to the book your appointment and you can see it opened in a new window. So they've still got that window open. As we said, I'd change that image out, we'd change the colors and, um, and away you go. And now the other awesome thing is, you can see it says the site was built on GrooveFunnels. If someone clicks through here and they then go and purchase GrooveFunnels themselves, you then get a commission of 20%. So again, that's just phenomenal. So everything's working. It's really simple, really easy to, to, to get your website built. If you want any other help with these, I've got loads of other videos. There'll be more videos in the description. But as I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the, uh, the button so you see all of my upcoming videos. We train, we do two or three videos every single week of inside of this Groove software. I'll teach you how to work in Groove Cell, Groove Affiliate, Groove Member, Groove Video everything and whether it's a free account or a paid account it doesn't matter you can do so much with this software it's unbelievable so make sure you go down set up your free account email me afterwards so you can get the two thousand dollars worth of free bonuses and um as i say there'll be some other videos coming up here on the left now do the subscribe bit, do the like bit help me support me to let the um, youtube algorithm know that you're enjoying these videos and you've set up your free website and also in the comments, make sure you ask what other videos you want me to do and, and I'll create those as well. So I'll see you on the next video.